Hey bees, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me and today we are going to make some foaming cocoa butter bath milk. This one is crazy easy. Like seriously, it's smoothie kind of easy. You're just gonna put all the ingredients in your blender or in your food processor or your coffee grinder and you're gonna blend them up and that's it. Awesome. <laughs> The ingredients for this one are really easy too. There's two gotta have them ingredients and two like optional but awesome ingredients. The gotta have them ingredients are a milk powder of some sort and cocoa butter. So for the milk powder, I use coconut milk powder because coconut milk and cocoa butter smell amazing together. But if you have like a cow's milk powder or goat's milk or soy milk or kind of, you know, whatever kind of milk powder you happen to have on hand, feel free to use that instead. It's super, super customizable that way. And then the two like nice to have makes it even nicer ingredients are some silk, which I absolutely love for my skin, especially in the winter. It really helps keep your skin hydrated and soft and a surfactant. So I've used SCI, but you could also use SLSA if you wanted to. And it gives it a really lovely, sort of like a low level foam. A reader described it as like a, like the top of a latte foam. And I really like it. It's really nice. And the added benefit of the surfactant is it helps the cocoa butter emulsify into your bath water, which makes for just sort of an, an overall more awesome experience. But you don't need those two extra awesome ingredients. You really just need the first two and a blender or a food processor and yeah so that's it come on let's get started so we'll dive right in with our mini food processor here if you only have a coffee grinder you can use that instead but you'll probably need to make half the amount that i'm making so in here i have half a cup of coconut milk powder and you can use any kind of milk powder that you happen to have so if you have sort of like a dairy milk powder or goat's milk powder that'll work what i love about coconut milk powder though is how awesome it smells. It smells wonderfully coconutty and when you pair that with chocolate it almost makes you want to drink your bath water which I don't advise but you know it's tempting. And in here I have three tablespoons of SCI or sodium cocal isothionate. Feel free to correct my pronunciation if it is appalling. So this is a mild surfactant and this is not in the original recipe on my blog. This is sort of a, a continued evolution as it were. So the mild surfactant, it's not like bubble bath. This is not going to give us big fluffy bubbles, but it will give us a nice sort of creamy, foamy element to the bath and help soften the skin. And it will also help the cocoa butter emulsify into our bath water a little bit better because surfactants and emulsifiers have quite a lot in common in how they work chemically, which is grabbing water with one end of a double-headed molecule and oil with the other. In here, I have some silk peptides. We're going to add a quarter teaspoon of those. You could add way more if you wanted to, or you can leave them out if you are vegan or if you just don't have them. And then for the cocoa part, we'll definitely need some cocoa butter. And so I'm saying approximately 30 grams. And so I wanna sort of show you approximately how much that is. It's really not that important how much you know exactly how much it is. So I'm just gonna kind of help give you a bit of an eyeball reference. So that is 16 grams. So we'll sort of shoot for another lump of roughly the same size. So that that there, that's 32 grams. I'm gonna kind of give you my hand for scale here. So roughly a thumb-ish sized, but again, not hugely important. Now, if you live somewhere quite warm, I would recommend popping your cocoa butter in the freezer before we do this to help it blitz up into just light powder rather than gumming up your grinder. Now, it is quite chilly here, so I am not that concerned about that. Once blending is complete, that's really all there is to do. You can add some essential oils to this if you want. Coffee would be really nice, or benzoin for a bit of a vanilla note. And I wanna show you how this behaves in some hot water. That's 
a lovely whippy foam. It's not going to be hugely stable and it will die down, but it gives your bath a lovely little extra touch if you add a few spoonfuls of this and some Epsom salts as the water is running. And there you go, you just made some foaming cocoa butter bath milk. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and check the description box below for the full written recipe in both metric and imperial and links to this recipe on my blog. You'll also find links for all the places that you can buy these ingredients all over the world so that you don't have to worry about where on earth you can buy sodium cocoa isothionate. <laughs> See you next time.